Good morning, McLean, and welcome back to WMHS News. I'm Karina. And I'm Etienne. Welcome to our first advisory show. Let's get into the news. Come out to celebrate McLean this Friday, September 17th from 4.30 to 6.30 on the football practice field located behind the baseball field. You'll be able to learn about different clubs and activities at McLean that you might want to join. There will also be awesome food and games for you to enjoy. Let's go to Tanner to hear more about it and fill you in on this week's sports. Hello, I'm Tanner Kaur here on the field where the football team will take on the Fairfax Lions this Friday at 7 in hopes of evening up their season record. The game will take place right after Celebrate McLean, which is an event that will be on the practice field from 4.30 to 6.30. Make sure to show your school spirit by wearing a white tank top, as the game will be a pain out night. Field hockey will also have a big weekend, as they face Mountain View's varsity squad at 6.15 at Westfield High on the same Friday. The next day is the Langley game, and they will face the Satsons at 10.30 a.m. shortly before playing Westfield at 12.30. Both of these games will be at Westfield High as well. Girls Volleyball will play just as high in a tournament this weekend, starting at 9.30 on Saturday. Meanwhile, over at Fairfax High, the, far, the freshman and junior varsity football squads will take on their Fairfax counterparts at 9 and 10 a.m. respectively. Roll theirs, now back to your anchors. Thanks Tanner. As Highlanders come back into the school, clubs are looking for new members. If you like watching Jeopardy or just know a lot about a certain subject and want to flex your knowledge, come to the Quiz Bowl team interest meeting on Mondays after school in Mr. Brocchetti's room, Y201. If you aren't able to make it, join their Schoology using the code below. Do you like to do digital drawings or illustrations? Want to meet people with similar artistic interests? The Digital Art Club interest meeting will be held next Thursday, September 23rd after school in room R193. Come meet and mingle with some fellow artists. If you'd rather talk than draw, the Debate Club is a staple in McLean and they meet Wednesdays after school in room G282. They offer space for all levels of debaters to grow, compete, thrive, and generally have fun debating. Join the Schoology code at the bottom of the screen. The McLean Red Cross Club is also hosting a meeting this Wednesday at 3 p.m. in the Sports Medicine Room. Anyone is welcome and snacks will be provided. The Highlander Journalism staff is reporting on the news that you need to know on their website. Check out thehighlandernews.com for McLean news, game coverage, and more. And be sure to follow their Instagram at MHS Highlander. The McLean Science Olympiad is hosting an interest meeting on Monday, September 20th and Thursday, September 23rd in Y200. Attend one of the meetings if you are interested in joining. And for more science, make sure to apply to be a ChemNection tutor by scanning the QR code in Mrs. Mrs. Hicks' room. Applications are due by September 24th and current AP Chemistry and Chemistry 2 DE students are eligible to apply. The McDanceathon interest meeting is during our first Highlander Time Flex on September 21st in the cafeteria. McCrypto will also be hosting an interest meeting during next Highlander Time Flex period. The club hosts stock and crypto market simulations and teaches students on financial independence outside of high school. Join the Google Classroom with the code below and follow them on Instagram at MHS Crypto. Hey Etienne, do you prefer online or in-person learning? I'm definitely happy to be back in the broadcast studio. Me too. Let's see how other McLean students feel. As we returned to the building, I set out to find how Highlanders felt about the return to school and which method of learning they preferred best. Spoiler alert, it's in person. In person. Oh, absolutely in person. Uh, in person. I prefer in person learning. I definitely like in person the best. In person. I definitely prefer it in person. It's a lot easier to communicate with students and get to know them better. Um, virtual is hard because a lot of students want to turn their cameras on and wouldn't actively participate, so I would definitely say in person. It's much better to help students by um, one on one, right there at the desk, be able to get that interaction right back. It's so great to see everybody's faces and to like actually be able to talk and interact and just laugh with everybody. I'm able to interact with all my students. Um, I see them interacting with each other, I see them happy, and uh, I know who needs help, um, I know where they're at, and I think that the learning is much richer. I learn a lot better when I'm actually doing things. A virtual was really difficult for me just because I basically like would sleep through most of it. And concurrent was just kind of difficult because it was like, some days you're in, some days you're not. And I always learned much better when I was on in-person days. It's more engaging. It's, it feels like, um, like you know, you're all your classmates are there and your teachers there too. And it's just it, it's easier to learn. And as much as it was nice to be able to go do things your own pace with online learning, there's a certain structure to being in person that makes it a lot easier to manage separating fun time with school. However, there were some mixed feelings. That's difficult. I feel like I like online and in person as well. 
just because in person, obviously, we get to interact more, but online, just because it's slightly easier. So, yeah. I would say, like, in between. Yeah, I'd be in between as well, because online, I feel like it's a little more flexible. With yeah, them. exactly. Like, the time schedules and stuff. And then in person, because, you know, there's still the social interaction we so desperately need. Yes. <laughs> I kind of enjoy being virtual because I was able to reach more students, you know, at different times throughout the day that work for their schedule, work with my schedule. But I also enjoy being back in the building and working with the students and actually seeing them in person and working one on one. Overall, the resounding opinion was in person and every Highlander that we spoke to was excited to be back in the building. I just I, I love seeing everybody and, and even when um, even when I'm getting crushed in the hallways because of all the people, I'm, I'm okay with that because it's just cool to have everybody back. This has been Karina Vought reporting for WMHS News. Now that we're back in person, look out for new leadership opportunities. Juniors and seniors, make sure to check your emails to see if you're eligible to apply for the National Honor Society this year. There you will complete service hours and become a contributing member of your community. And you should try the Girls Leadership Committee interest meeting on September 23rd at 3.05 p.m. Girls Leadership encourages women's empowerment in our community. The club hosts a wide variety of activities that range from aiding women in need in the area with their menstrual product drive to organizing workshops which help girls explore career opportunities and prepare for the future. Be sure to come to the interest meeting which will be held in Ms. Venus's room. Thanks for tuning in, McLean. If you'd like to submit an announcement, fill out the Google form with the link below. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram for McLean updates and fun activities. Have, Have a, a winsome, winsome Wednesday, Wednesday McLean. McLean.